Mark, good afternoon. We are on the road on I-71, about an hour away from Cleveland, the site of the Republican National Convention, as you just mentioned. Of course, it is opening day, the first day of this big political party for the GOP. Now, as you know, Donald Trump has made the slogan, Make America Great, his number one a priority is crying call. Well, the convention will play off that theme. So tonight, on the first day, it will be all about make America safe again. And among the speakers will include the former mayor of New York City, Julie, Rudy Giuliani, as well as Trump's wife, Melania, and Lieutenant General Mike Flynn, as well as Senator Joni Ernst. Both Ernst and Flynn were both considered to be on the short list. We should also point out that uh, Wednesday will be the biggest day when Governor Mike Pence will address the delegates. And then Thursday, it's Trump time in prime time as Donald Trump closes up the convention on Thursday. We're about an hour away. As you can see, traffic on I-71 is moving rather well. We're told when we get to Cleveland, it all comes to a screeching halt. It's quite a traffic mess outside the Quicken Loans Arena. The big queue uh, is quite uh, congested this morning. Quite the lineup there, Raphael, and glad you have good traffic for it right now. You know, I'm sure many people from Indiana are joining you on that ride uh, this afternoon. And with Indiana being in such the spotlight now that Gov Governor Pence is uh, picked as the VP candidate, are we expecting more politicians, more big players from Indiana to show up at the convention? Well, we know, Mark, that a number of big players are already there at the convention hall. In fact, the governor will be attending a number of parties once he arrives sometime this afternoon. So we expect a number of people uh, from the Indiana delegation to include all the big hitters to be there. As you know, some are choosing from other states, are choosing like the President Bushes are not coming to the convention, nor is Mitt Romney. But we expect that Mike Pence will have the full support of the big hitters among Indiana politics. All right, our Rafael Sanchez on the road for us heading to the RNC in Cleveland. We'll check in back with you later. And as Rafael mentioned, we expect Governor Pence to leave today for the Republican National Convention as the party's presumptive vice presidential nominee. RTV6 State House reporter Katie Hines live at Indianapolis International Airport with more. Mark, we expect Governor Pence to make the trip to Cleveland today on the first full day of the Republican National Convention. This ahead of his acceptance speech for the vice presidential nomination for the Republican Party on Wednesday night. That's when the when he'll get the chance to address the country, introduce himself, and make his pitch. And this comes after a busy two weeks here for Governor Pence after that very first meeting with Donald Trump over the July 4th holiday weekend. For now, we're live. Katie Hines, RTV6.